Let's get into some trouble. Let's get into trouble. I already said that. I, I know, but double trouble. I mean, that's what everyone tells us. About the twins? Yeah. Actually, let's start off with that. What is the most common twin question or phrase that you get on a daily basis? Are they twins? <laughs> To be fair, Sawyer's like four pounds heavier than Dean, so he probably looks like his older brother a little. Yes. But they also like, are you sure they're not identical? Of course I'm sure. I'm their mom. They came out of me. I think, yeah, that's a, that's a common one. What is some more? Um, okay, so yeah, are they twins also? Double trouble. Don't yeah. worry, it gets better. Oh, yeah, or it gets worse. It depends on the mom. I could never do it. Well, then don't. Yeah. Just kidding. Or everyone's always so nice or being assholes. They'll, they'll also say, "Your hands are full." Your oh my gosh, aren't your hands full? Your yep. hands are full. I'm like, yes, literally. So why are you stopping me in the middle of my task? Something that I do. Whoever is listening today or watching, something so sweet happened to Christian today at the store. You want to tell him about it? What happened? The the person who helped you with your cart. Oh yes, yes. So I, I loaded the groceries into the car, and I had the twins in the in the in the front of the cart. It's a double seater, and um, then I yeah I bring the cart around to one side of the car, and then I take it around to the other side, and I and I load the load the other other baby. Right. Well, I had the cart behind the car, and when I went back for it, it was gone. And Rolled I'm away. Like, looking around, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> It rolled away and hit somebody's car. Oh my God, I'm the worst person ever. But I can't find the damn cart. And there's like this couple just standing near the little what do you call it the cart cart, cart rack, yeah, return cart area. You know, in the, just like in the middle of the aisle. And I'm like looking confused as hell, and they're just standing there like whispering to each other. <laughs> and I'm like, surely they would say something. Right, if they had they taken the cart, or if it had hit something, they would have let me know. And I was like, hey, "Did y'all see a cart? Those right here?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, we we put it away for you." I was like, "Oh thank God, I thought it rolled off and hit a car or something." And they're like, "Oh no, we got it for you. We saw you had your hands full." So, okay, in that case, I'll let the the full hands slide because. Yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah, that was very nice. I feel yeah. like that's like something that people are like they'll comment on the twins a lot, which is fine. I yeah. honestly, we're attention whores, obviously, so we love it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's nice to like for people to like offer to help us in some way. So like, if you're listening and you know any twins and you see somebody struggling, like even if they say no, maybe they say no. I'm not that parent. Well, I I, I say no, but like uh, I'll have people. They'll ask me because I'll have them in one in each arm, like walking up to the store to get a cart. And people will be like, Do you need help? Do you need help? And I'm like, No, no, I got it. I got it. And really? Yeah, I got, I got it just fine. No, I understand that. I get them loaded bullshit. and unloaded. And nobody looks at me and helps me with shit. Well, that's because you're a woman. Dude, that's not the most insane shit. Like, Christian like, can go into the freaking grocery store. And it's <laughs> like he's a celebrity. Everyone's like, oh, my God. Look at that cute dad Are with twins? twins. Are they twins? Yeah. The whole conversation. All, like, he every, knows, like, I, every like, person going. that he runs into. He's like, oh, yeah, nice to see you again, Miss Baker lady. I don't know. And I go in. Well, people don't even make Janet eye contact nice. with us. They are like, and I'm like, is it because I have RBF? Do women not get the same praise and attention as men in grocery stores? I, I mean, both can be true. Oh, I, I, I don't know. We're going to have to do like an undercover moment. You should go in dressed as a man with a beard <laughs> and, and, and your You're gonna meta think glasses that I look so and freaking record, crazy. record every moment. No, I'm going to get reported. People are going to be like, there's a crazy looking No, I bet dude. you could, I bet you could do it. Are you telling me I look like a man? No, I'm saying go in looking like like pull a Mrs. Doubtfire, but a Mr. Doubtfire. Um, yeah. Twin talk. Twin talk. I got it. Uh, TT. TT. <laughs> Just thanks twin, for stopping by talk. for a little bit of TT. Twin talk. Um. Good so morning, <laughs> afternoon, or evening. Welcome to, to the, the Hobby anymore. Hopper podcast. But we're not supposed to do the intro. I'm Alina. Damn it.
I'm Christian. There we go. This happens every time. Well, you got to stop switching me. Okay. Also, our wires really look close weird. Our wires are crossed. So. <laughs> 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 Okay, you're too close to me to go away. I love you. <laughs> but I didn't marry you to be this close. Shall we get into the hobbies? Yes, jump. Jump, jump. We have some announcements. Announcement one. So, we have triplets on the way. No. Huey, Dewey, and... Suey? Susie. That's not true. Stop spreading misinformation. I'll make it true. You hear that, Ovaries? Oh, God. Okay. So, Three. speaking of the hobbies, Christian and I greatly underestimated how hard it is to learn hobbies in 30 days. With that being said, Christian and I are going to switch up our agenda a little bit. I just got my 3D printer. What are you looking at? They're wrapped up in a sports bra. I mean, literally, I already have negative A's. What are you looking at? Oh, I see. Okay, you're not looking at that. <laughs> like, what the hell? And they're positive A's. Come on. Long story short, I started out this 30-day 3D print challenge with a Creality Ender 3 printer. Yeah. And Fun times. Yeah, I think it was making me more of a professional professional mechanic I mean, yeah, printer mechanic. mechanic yeah they call it. um i spent days figuring that shit out and it was amazing honestly like that's my thing like i love to like build stuff and take stuff apart which is why i was doing it but i have a life and children and a husband and a full-time job so it... i i needed things 3d printed <laughs> yeah and so I wasn't getting anything so I... I was like where's my stuff <laughs> and that kind of attitude is why i don't print him shit yeah, I still haven't got anything printed. So I switched printers so that I could actually print it instead of like figuring out how to do it. And it took days, weeks, like so long for this thing to come in. I ended up just giving myself an extra month or so um, because I need it. And if I feel like I feel like February. you guys are really liking the 3D printing stuff i'm putting out right now so if you want more of that then i gotta do it some more you know so that's what's going on with me um christian how's your embroidery hobby going um well i kind of um hopped to a different hobby um yes he did hi i'm a hobby hopper my name is chris made it like one day embroider it's actually it's hard i don't got time for that it it really is no no it, it, it is and I, it, I, I want originally wanted to do it as like a part time hobby, so not even like something I need to like do all the time, but a skill I wanted to have um, in my arsenal, you know. Mm. But um, yeah, I know I, uh, I hopped to a different hobby. Um, I've been kind of doing some baking. Kind um, of, he's kind like. Of, you know, a professional baker at this point. No, God, no, not even anywhere close. Okay, the man has made so far homemade Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> That's he, easy. he has, yes, but he's made homemade Twix, homemade oatmeal cream pies. Yep. Um, what else? Uh, Buckeyes. I mean, it's been a week, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we kind of do that for like the, the almost a whole month. Yeah, but now we're pretending like you didn't, and you just started. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just been doing it for like a week. <laughs> um, yeah, my kitchen's been a madhouse. Oh my gosh, please. It's so annoying. When I was doing Cocine with Alina, I would be like a freaking pigsty. It was just so ridiculous. Christian oh. makes food every single night. Like he like does his baking. And then before I wake up in the morning, it's clean. I like to go to bed with a clean kitchen. I know, but I feel like such a jerk now because i was like i'll just do it in the morning anyway christian's doing some cooking so look forward to bacon. some baking um i'm very excited it's honestly way tastier than embroidery so i'm well there is a there's something i'm gonna try uh for the next podcast i'm gonna make a uh, homemade cinnamon toast crunch oh the taste you can see the taste you can see oh yeah not me though because i'm old I'm a millennial. We love our bamboo printer. 
Uh, it's basically like getting a new, like, you know, when you get an Amazon package, babe, and it feels so good because you like mm. bought it and then you wait for it and you watch the tracking and then you like, yes. you get it and then you're all excited. Basically, 3D printing has been like that because we just get new stuff we would have bought on Amazon, but printed in our very own home. And honestly, it's it's faster than Amazon too. And cheaper, just realizing we don't have anything printing right now. That seems like a waste. Oh, well, we should probably uh, get on top of that. Yeah, Christian and I honestly haven't even been in our socials as much because we've just been using the uh, Bamboo Handy app. Oh, my gosh. I'm constantly scrolling through that. I'm like, oh, save this for later. Save mm-hmm. this for later. It's crazy because like, you buy these spools of filament and they're like anywhere from like 13 to like $30, right? But you can make so much cool stuff. I'm trying mm-hmm, not to cuss mm-hmm, as much. Mm-hmm. Um, shall we show them some of our creations? First, I'm going to show you my V1 print that I designed in Fusion 360. And uh, it's not good. However, I took an idea from my brain, wrote it down on a piece of paper, and then measured out what I needed to be measured out, put it inside of a software, designed it into a 3D model, Boom. put it into a slicer, and then pushed a print, and it came to life. It is Aww. this not impressive SD card holder. Isn't that wild? Oh, also, it ha- it's usually not for papers, but I put papers in there. And that's where my SSD goes. Aww. Um. Yeah, we ran into some issues, which I'll get into a short form, but uh, we had some layer shift issues. Also, the dimensions, you know, that's okay. But she is a first try, and I made her from my mind. Here in a lovely lime green, we have a cable holder spinner model. Um, and basically, what you do is you, um, can you help? It's very strong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. You twist your cables up like this right and then there's a little spinner model down there you click or closed and then you just spinny spin spin when you need her you go skirt oh, skirt skirt they're they're stackable and this is my favorite i do not like this filament it's marble but i don't like it anyway so have you seen our short form content that i've been putting out i've been doing some asmr for adhd not really but kind of uh, i don't i don't think i have Ooh, let's show you <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So how do you feel about that? And viewer, do you think that uh making your own sound effects is a funny, B cringy, or C all of the above? Wait, you made all this own stuff sound effects on it? Yeah. You can tell. I no, I just I thought those I were said, like Cat. Oh yeah. I thought, oh yeah, I figured, but I didn't know you did all the sound effects. Cat. That was pretty impressive. Uh, thank you. By the way, guys, this is a good moment to remind you to subscribe. Subscribe. Wait, where's my subscribe button? Guys. Make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, made that. Do us a favor. If you see our shorts, give it a like, comment, tell us. We're usually asking if you want anything in particular 3d printed so if you know of anything please hit us up in our comments send us a dm on instagram but mostly subscribe because don't you want to see that thing what's have you seen the subscribe this is so not even new anymore but every time you push it it goes all right everybody thanks so much for listening and watching um joining us and all the things yes uh we'll see you next tuesday at five uh i hope everyone has a great uh you know day or night or both Bye.